Hyped is one of my favorite smart links to use in my Facebook ads to try to get conversions going to streaming platforms like Spotify and Apple Music. And I've been using Hyped for a while, but one of my biggest gripes with it over time was that the, the data analytics portion of it wasn't really up to par compared with some other platforms. But recently, by now, it's a couple months ago, but I wanted to make this one when the features came out, Hyped it added a full, a pretty damn detailed analytics platform on the back of it. And, and Hyped it is a really good value for money. Um, like a lot of people ask, like, should I should I get should I use Tonda in the free one? Should I use Feature FM, which which is awesome, but it's a little more on the expensive side, or like where where what else should I use? And hyped it kind of falls in the middle. Like it's a lot more affordable and it has a lot of the features Feature FM has. Um, so it's kind of a balance, you know. I think at the moment my my favorite platform is Feature FM, but I've most of my campaigns have been done in hyped it, and I still think it's a fantastic smart link tool. So I want to show you this analytics platform in this video so you can kind of see what it's all about. So I'll share my screen here. Um, basically, if we go to smart links and then I'll scroll down to one of my links that's still in an active campaign, there's this little button, this little graph button for every single link. And that's where you access all of these analytics. So if I click on this, I already have it open in another window. It's going to open up this analytics thing. And so now I can filter by a few different date ranges, last 24 hours, seven days, 28 days, and since 2022. And first of all, we get the ability to see visits, link clicks, and link clicks per visit. So visits, how many people actually visited your landing page day by day. So that's the gray. The blue is how many people clicked one of the buttons on our page, so Spotify, Apple Music, etc. And just in case you're not super familiar with this, if I click on this, this is what my page is. Now, I don't always have all these options. A lot of times I only have Spotify and Apple, um, but here I tested out having more. And so we can see, you know, the link clicks, if I look at a certain day, this gray was 77 visits, 48 link clicks, and then link clicks per visits, that's the red, it's a percentage. So it's just dividing those numbers. So 62% of everyone that visited the page went on to click one of the buttons to go stream it somewhere. And so day by day, you get all this data of what your conversion rates are, um, how many people visited, how many people clicked, which is fantastic. You can even export this data as well if you want to like do some crazy Excel stuff with it. <laughs> now, you also get some total stuff. This is overall for the page, um, the same data here over this time period. But now if we scroll down, we get channels. So what this is looking at is if essentially the referral um, URL. So if, if someone's, if you're linking to it directly, it's going to count it for direct. If it's coming from Instagram, it's going to count it here. If it's coming from Facebook, it's going to come here. Now, this isn't flawless. Um, all of the traffic that's going to this page, pretty much all of it, is going to be Instagram or Facebook. Um, so there is a lot getting counted as direct, where it probably should be Instagram or, or Facebook. So I don't really know why that is, but you can tell to a certain degree what the conversion rates on each platform are. So you can see Instagram, my click-through rates are substantially higher, almost double <laughs> what they are on Facebook. And direct, they're also more similar to Instagram. So I'm guessing this is just how Instagram does their linking. Um, and that's why it's showing up as direct. So next we can go down to countries. And here, this is a fantastic feature because this is something that a lot of, I would show people how to do it in Tonden, but in Tonden it's a very big workaround to get this data. Um, you have to like export a spreadsheet and convert the data and all this stuff, it's kind of annoying. But now Hyted is built directly on the page, which is phenomenal. So I can see how many clicks and visits are coming from which country. Now for this song, um, I think I have a specific campaign just going to Brazil and Mexico and maybe the US. And that's why it's like so dominated by Brazil um, because of that. I'm not doing all the countries. I wanted to just see what's the cheapest I could get just going to like Brazil and Mexico because it's usually cheaper. But this lets you see, you know, if you're spending money in a certain country, what's the drop off in certain countries? Like in this case, the drop off is actually really high in the US, right? <laughs> and, the, and Brazil is actually really high and same with Mexico. UK is pretty good too. So this lets you see like, when you're running your ads, you can't see conversion data by country anymore. The breakdown data that we used to love and rely on is, is gone ever since iOS 14. So this is very helpful for being able to tell, you know, what countries are coming in, how many you're visiting, and how many actually converted, and what the click-through rate is. And then you can go to Spotify and compare your Spotify for artist data to the data on here, and then compare all that data to the data on Facebook. Now, also, in addition to these channels, 
you got, and actually I think I might know what's up with these channels. I'll come back to that in a moment. So now we have browsers. So this is where it's essentially the, what, where are people getting referred to this link inside of it? So the reason why it's showing Instagram app is because when people first click your ad, it's gonna open up inside of like a, inside the Instagram app, it's gonna open up Hyped It. And then when they click the link on your Hyped It page, it's gonna route them outside of Instagram and over to Spotify or Apple or YouTube or whatever. Um, so this is like showing essentially how many people visited the page inside of Instagram. There's some unknown, Google Chrome, uh, and then inside the Facebook app, Firefox, Safari, etc. And then there's also devices. So you can see most like essentially how, how are your conversion rates on mobile compared to desktop, which is pretty neat. I actually don't know if Feature FM even gives you this data or this data. Feature FM does give you all the country stuff and the channels and this stuff and a few other things. But I'm not 100% sure about devices and, and browsers per se. Now, if we go back here, um, one thing that I'm really hoping that Hyped It adds, and I, I did talk to, like, we had a few emails with John Gold, who is the founder of Hyped It. Um, he, I, I mentioned that a really cool feature would be is if we could kind of do what, what you can do on Feature FM and append like a little code to this so that you can track manually, like which campaigns are driving results. And then we could filter it by certain things. And he was like, that's an awesome idea. <laughs> so I don't know when it'll happen. I just wanted to bring that up that um, Hyped It's really good, or John Gold on, with Hyped It is very good about adding features. Like Hyped It hasn't gotten more expensive and they added this feature, which I think is a, a game changer. It, it really makes it compete with some of the more expensive platforms. Um, there's still, you know, every smart link service has their pluses and minuses. Um, but I think Hyped It, their strong point is that they have a really good value proposition per dollar. So now I want to show you a really cool tip that can help improve the, the number of conversions that Facebook is actually getting after a message from this video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Invest in yourself and your personal growth. Some of the benefits of Skillshare, it's ad-free so you can stay in the zone when you're exploring new skills. New premium classes are launched every single week so there's always something new to discover. So there's this awesome class called Advanced Video Editing with Adobe Premiere Pro 2020 by Jordy. I don't know how to say his last name, uh, but he, he has an awesome YouTube channel and that's where I first heard of them, but he also has this really detailed course on Skillshare. And if you're looking to up your video game and, and really be able to make your own music videos, make your own ads, make your own social media posts, Premiere Pro is the tool I use to make all my videos everywhere. So I think this is a very worthwhile skill to learn. The reason why I use Skillshare is because it's very often that I'll come across a new skill that I need to have either in the, in the music aspect of my business or the more businessy aspects of my business. And it's really, really helpful to have an organized course to go through and help me through it. So if that sounds good to you, there's a link down in the description. It's a fantastic way to support this channel. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. The first 1000 people to use this link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So you can test it out, see if it's for you and learn a bunch of stuff in the process. All right, so the thing that I wanna show you is Hyped It actually supports something called the Facebook Conversion API. It allows you to track people on the internet without using a browser-based cookie. It communicates directly from Hyped It servers to Facebook servers and it's the future of Facebook pixel tracking. And Hyped It supported this for several months now. It's maybe six plus months at this point. Um, but it's really cool because eventually in 2022, regular pixels are probably gonna be getting phased out and going away because more and more uh, ad blockers are being used. More and more companies are obsessed about data privacy, which, which is cool. It's kind of bad for marketers, but conversion API is already a thing and it actually is even more intrusive <laughs> and can track even more data from people. So it's a direct solution that is actually better to use even now. So I just edited one of my smart links and I'm using this one because I don't have conversion API installed in this one. But if I go to tracking pixels, this is like your normal browser-based, cookie-based pixel. But there's this thing, conversion API access token. Now I might have to blur up my screen there. There's a way to save this, this access, conversion API access token in your account because once you generate this code, Facebook will never show it to you again. So you, you can't like lose it or you can't, you have to make sure no one gets it. But if I go over to um, one of my um, ads manager and go inside of events manager here, side of here, I can go to settings and I can go down to um, version API and then set up manually generate access token. I might have to blur out some more stuff on here, but I'll click on generate access token and it's gonna give me this code that you have to be very careful not to share with anyone and it won't be stored by Facebook. So I'm just gonna click it 
and I'm going to have to store this somewhere <laughs> um, and make sure not to lose it. I mean, you can generate more ones. It's fine. But, um, you know, then you'll have multiple ones. But it's not, not a big deal. But then you go back to Hyped it and you just paste that sucker in there. And then you have conversion API tracking, which is really cool because it's actually more accurate than pixel tracking. Basically, if someone has an ad blocker, it's a way to get even more of those conversions that the ad blocker would have otherwise caused you not to get, which is a big deal. And now another thing um, that I don't know if I talked about before, but you can also use Hyped it with Google Ads. So I'm not going to go over that in this video, but you can actually put Google Ads conversions and conversion labels on your smart links as well. Um, but yeah, I think that's a really cool feature. And um, I talked to Feature FM, and they said they're probably going to add that this year or two because it's a big, important thing. They just don't have it at the moment. So that's another kind of point in in Hypitz column. And that's that's really why I use both of these platforms because they each have their own uh, pluses and minuses. Um, and I'd like to just let you decide based, based on the raw data. So yeah, if you want to try out Hyped It, there's a link in the description. And if you want to learn more about how I use Facebook ads to promote my music on like Spotify and Apple, you can check out this playlist right here. You can also check out my course down here at the bottom. Thank you very much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check out their link below and also in the pinned comment. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. Bye.